guys, welcome or welcome back to Miss Creative Queen. If you have not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you can get notified of every video I post. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how you can work out at home with just a deck of cards. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you find this video helpful and also comment other videos that you would like to see on this channel. Also I do have an announcement which I will talk about at the end of the video so make sure to stay tuned. Now let's get on with the video. So here is the basic rundown of this game. This is meant to be done with other people and it can also be done as a game but if you're alone you can still do this. Basically you have your deck of cards with 52 cards and you're going to put them all face down in a pile. If you have 2-4 to four people, 54 cards is enough but if you have more people you may need to buy another deck. First you're going to run and take a lap. Once you take your lap you're going to pick up a card. Each card represents a different exercise and number of exercises. So you're going to do your exercise, put your card aside, go take a lap and then repeat. You're going to do this until all your cards are finished. Now let's break it down step by step. Before even starting the game, you have to place the cards face down in a round pile as you can see what I'm doing so that you can grab any random card. So the first step to this game is to take a lap. You can choose any part of your house. For me, I run all the way to my front door and back, but you can go up and down your stairs or whatever else works for you. If you have a backyard and the weather is nice, you can run in there. The running gets you warmed up and it also gets in a cardio workout. Next step is to pick up a card and do the exercise it represents and also the amount of times it says. How this works, before you start the game or your workout, you're going to write down the card representations. The number of the card is how many times you have to do your exercise and the symbol is the exercise. So A represents 1, J represents 11, Q represents 12, and K represents 13. You can also choose whatever exercise you prefer. For example, you can do hearts as jumping jacks, diamonds as push-ups, spades as squats and clubs as sit-ups so if you choose to do something which requires you to do it for a certain amount of time such as a clang you can choose how many seconds per each number and also you can adjust the exercises to whatever type of workout you want to do. So comment down below some exercise ideas that you like and that everyone can use. So the workout end game ends when the gate cards are finished and now you can tally up the cards you have. The whole point of the game is to see who gets the highest total of the numbers of their cards added up. If you're playing alone, then you can use half of the deck and see what the highest number you can add up to each time, or you can just treat it as a regular workout and forget about the game part. So that's how you do the simple exercise game. You get in a workout and you also have some fun. Now that this part of the video is done, it's time for the announcement. So I have two things to announce today. First off, I want to say that I will be doing a face reveal. When I reach 50 subscribers, the face reveal will happen, so get subscribing and get your friends to subscribe too. Now my second announcement is about my uploading schedule. Starting next week, I will be uploading once a week and when I feel like it, twice a week. I'm most likely going to be uploading on Mondays and when I do the second upload, it will be Thursdays. So that's all I had to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and also make sure to subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!